the different styles, setups, advantages of some over others, and why I chose the one that I did. Here we have the third gen Tacoma in standard double cab short bed that you see rolling down the road everywhere. And this here is a double cab long bed. Today we're gonna to talk about which toppers I think will look best on the Tacoma Axis Cab Long Bed. And this here truck is my beautiful, badass Tacoma in Lunar Rock. Living its life up here in the beautiful Rocky Mountains of Colorado. We're gonna roll with the pictures as they come. This here is probably the cheapest option. It's some sort of soft top camper shell. I have zero interest in this, so I'm not even gonna consider them. But they're fabric, they're lightweight. You can take them on off by yourself. They're cheaper. Also, they flap in the wind, they degrade in the sun, they don't last as long, they don't insulate, not for me. Here we have a pretty nice looking truck. I believe this is Cavalry Blue. Pretty sharp looking, Look, looks blacked out. Axis cab, what I got. And here you can see we have a high rise topper. This is the category that I'm looking at the most. The one thing to take notice here of the topper is that we have the bump rise you know, most of these are anywhere from three to six inches extra. You can go even higher than that. But at this mid-rise height, you have the perfect balance of headroom, space, loading things in the back of the truck, height clearance, and also keeping your wind aerodynamics at an acceptable level with a minimal decrease in gas mileage. The ARE toppers are a tad bit cheaper than the Lear toppers. However, what I don't like about them here is look at that bump top. It's a rounded, kind of weird, protruded bubble. And I personally don't think the lines go very well with the Axis Cab Tacoma third generation. On the silver truck here, we got a snug top highliner. Here we have a Lear cab height, looks sharp. On Lunar Rock, here's an ARE cab height black topper. I prefer the Lear sharper lines over the ARE on this generation Tacoma, personal choice. Here you can see the ARE bump top bubble, not a fan. RS smart cap, real boxy, some love it, I don't. Snug top, flat, lines are okay, the window's a little too rounded for me. Lear cab height long bed. Here's another Lunar Rock with the, with the Lear cab height topper. I like this geometry and look the best so far. And we cruise right up this thing. Here you can see the sharper angles of the Lear 180 mid-rise topper compared to the ARE mid-rise bubble. Again, here's the Lear 180. And what I like about this, check out those super cool wind doors on the, on the back topper part there. Those things flip open are super cool and super functional. They even add a little bit of dimension, flare angle, and look to the Tacoma. Black Lear 180, ARE MX. Lear 180 with wind doors, axis cab. Sexy looking truck. This Lear 180 with wind doors is really starting to grow on me. I like the look of this with the Axis cab. Look at that, just sharp lines, it looks mean, looks bad, looks perfect there in the desert. This is a snug top highliner. This doesn't look bad either, but it is sitting on a second generation Tacoma, and I think it'll be a little bit too rounded on the third gen. Snug top highliner on the third gen. I think Century makes this exact topper as well. ARE MX bubble and here we have a long bed RS smart cap kind of looks cool but it's a little too long a little too flat doesn't match the top of the cab very well in my eye snug top highliner not bad not bad some kind of pop top tent camper this looks super badass however for daily driving is not very practical super cool and again, Lear 180 on the short bed, I don't really like it that much. ARE MX, here it does look good on a second gen Tacoma. I don't know if it's an older version or what, here it looks really nice. But on the third generation here, that bump top, it's just too much. The lines don't match up to the sweet third gen Tacoma lines. You can see that right here. Lear cab height short bed, you can see the back window is different. Some of you might like this look. Here we have the ARE cab height overland model with the black accents. Lear cab height model. And again here, ARE MX bump top. 
Third one, this is also an ARE bump top. You can see the rounded off design. Looks like a Lear 180. Super wedge high rise. Here we got uh, another tent camper expedition rig. And the worst of all, the MX ARE bubble on a short bed. Lear 180. I'm really starting to like these 180s. However, here it's sitting on a short bed. On a long bed, it looks even bigger. ARE bump top mid rise on a second gen looks decent. Here it is on a third gen. Not a fan. Not a fan at all. That black window looking thing in the front is not a window. It's just a piece of plexiglass stuck on there. It serves no purpose. Smart cap looks decent, but these things are like five grand. Here we got one of these soft topper shenanigans. It may work for you. However, where I live at high altitude, the UV rays would just destroy this thing. I bet you in a year, this thing would be toast. First branch to touch it after that, it'd probably shred to pieces. But for short trips to the beach, quick light camping expeditions, take it on, take it off, it could be an option for the right situation. AREMX, Lear 180, Smart Cap, Lear 180. I think we might have a winner. Snug Top Highliner doesn't look too bad, but I like the other one better. A bed in the back of the cab. I'm going to build one of these things. AREMX Bubble Terrible. A Lear standard cab height with wind doors and a Lear 180. Coming up, we got a montage of a whole bunch of toppers. I'm primarily focusing on the Axis cab here. If there's anything that interests you or looks super awesome, pause it, study the picture, and take notes. are my truck before pictures and I just placed my order for a Lear 180 mid-rise lunar rock topper baby be sure to subscribe and follow the journey watch the video right here